Alright, welcome to Right On with John Crane, and today I'm going to be cleaning up this rusty four-jaw chuck that I got here, and I'm going to be using some evapo rust. and uh, this rusty four-jaw chuck is a result of me leaving this chuck in an unheated space over the winter, and then I come back to discover it, and it's all rusty, and like, ah, I, I, so... Obviously, uh, time to clean it up. I got some projects coming up for the four jaw chuck on the lathe. And uh, so I'm gonna, this is a couple day process. I'm gonna soak this in some evaporust. And uh, I've had some great uh, luck with this evaporust. It's worked really well. And it's come at the suggestion of um, like Adam Booth, A-bomb there, uh, Mr. Pete, and uh, Keith Rucker there. I've seen all those guys uh, use this on their channel cleaning it up stuff and uh, that's how I got to start using it and it's just been a, a great product. So I'm gonna head over to the bench and uh, start soaking this chuck and uh, get rolling. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, take these uh, chuck jaws out, spin these guys out. All right, now I'm gonna see if I can uh, pop these hex head bolts out here, and that will remove uh, this backing uh, mounting plate here. And looks like there's a little crud down in the holes here, so let's see if I can scrape some of this out so I can get that hex key to seat in there. Now see how, how tight these are. Okay, not too bad, that's good. It's a nice old uh, copper hammer here of my uh, grandfather's. This thing's been around the block. Uh, made in Orange, New Jersey there. And uh, this thing's just been around forever, but great tool. My go-to uh, copper hammer there, great for this kind of thing. Yeah, old New Jersey. This kind of reminds me of New Jersey, all this rust here, all the salt they put on the roads back there, all those cars rusting out. I think I might be able to put these bolts in here just a little bit so they're sticking out. And then I can give them a, a tap with the copper hammer there and push this uh, backing plate off. Yeah, that's driving it right out there. That's great. I think what I'm gonna do before I tap this all the way out is I'm gonna scribe a little uh, witness mark on here so I can put this back in the same exact spot. All right, yeah, look at that. Definitely in some need of a little cleanup. This is gonna be great to clean this all up and uh, get this chuck rolling again. All right, before I soak the chuck in the evaporust, I am gonna degrease it, get all the grease off of it uh, in this uh, bath here of uh, Simple Green. So I got some Simple Green and some water in here and 
I might add a little bit more water and simple green, but I'm gonna put this chuck in here and let this soak for a little bit. And I'm gonna add a little bit more water here so this covers over the top of the chuck there. Add a little bit more uh, simple green in there. And I'll throw in the, uh, the chuck jaws here. And this is good to uh, degrease these parts because the evaporust doesn't necessarily degrease the parts and the, the grease that's stuck on there, you're gonna have to scrub that off later if you don't get it now. And uh, the evaporust won't work underneath the, those uh, greasy, oily spots. All right, I'm gonna let this uh, soak for a little while. All right, this stuff has been uh, soaking in here, yeah, only for about 10 minutes or so, but I'm just gonna give it a little scrub here with the brush and work off any uh, grease or oil that's on these parts. So I'm gonna let this soak for another uh, 15 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna go out and uh, hose these down with the hose outside. All right, I got these parts uh, all degreased here. And now I'm just gonna start laying these uh, into this tub here and trying to come up with the best, uh, you know, fill on parts here. So I got three and a half gallons of evaporust. That's all I could find locally. And uh, hopefully that's enough uh, to cover this. If not, I got some other parts that I can throw in this, you know, Heck, I could use a, you know, 55 gallon vat of this stuff. That would be great. I feel like I got all kinds of rusty stuff out there. Here's the evaporust here. Tools, antiques, cookware, auto, hardware. All right, super safe rust remover. I feel like, uh, that movie, The Truman Show, with uh, Jim Carrey, where every few minutes his uh, wife is doing some sort of uh, ad for coffee or something. Evaporust. All right, that's great. That's nice uh, coverage there. And now I'm just going to let this sit overnight and uh, I'll be back in the morning to uh, uh, scrub up these parts. All right, it's the next day here and I've had these soaking overnight here. Let's uh, take a look. I threw a, a couple other tools in here. Here are some uh, tin snips, some shears here, and uh, those look like they cleaned up pretty nice. I threw in another Morse taper attachment here. This is a, an adapter and uh, going from a three to a four. And uh, yeah, that looks good. Looks like that cleaned up nice too. Yeah, these jaws, these look great. And uh, oh yeah, yeah, all this is, coming out, out nice here. I think I'm gonna scrub these a little bit with uh, some Scotch-Brite and clean these up a bit and then take them outside and uh, I'll hose them off. Oh man, that's a beast. This is a, uh, a buck, buck four jaw chuck here, 12 inch. 
And uh, yeah, that looks great. This looks like it's uh, cleaned up nice in that evapor rust there. Yeah, all the little corrosion there is, is coming right off. So I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, Buck Tool Company, Kalamazoo, Michigan, 1312 it says here, made in the USA. A good way for getting some of this water off is with the air nozzle. Even in uh, that short of time right there, just blowing this off, I can see a tiny bit of flash rust uh, going off on this. So I'm gonna hit it right now with a WD-40. And uh, WD-40, uh, a couple good things that it's good for is driving away water. Uh, the other uh, good thing is uh, cutting aluminum with it. It's great for that. I'm really happy how this is uh, turning out. Uh, Vapor Rust is doing a great job and uh, got the WD-40 on there. And it's amazing how quickly uh, this stuff uh, will start to flash rust. And uh, right, the WD-40 is good for that. WD-40, pretty sure the WD is uh, water displacement and it uh, drives the water out, which is uh, a good property of it. I think, uh, I think it's mostly uh, kerosene, and uh, but it works uh, works great for that. And then uh, I'll I'll coat the thing down uh, probably with a little whey oil and uh, probably put a little uh, lithium grease here on the screws. All right, now I'm gonna uh, give all these parts a good coating of uh, pork and bean sauce here. No, I'm gonna use. Uh, this is a uh, mobile DTE uh, RNO. It's a good uh, rust and oxide uh, inhibitor. And uh, 
I'm just gonna give this whole uh, chuck here a good coating down with this oil here and try to hit every surface I can on this. In between these two plates, when uh, this goes back together, I don't want this to be a real heavy, thick coat of oil, just, just real light. I'll sop some of this up here with a towel. time to put this back together and I'm gonna clean off uh, some of this oil here just so there's a light coating here all right and then earlier when I was taking this apart I put a witness mark uh, right here at this point so I'm gonna line up the, these two marks here, the witness marks that I got. And this, yeah, that's a nice tight fit. And with those uh, witness marks lined up, I'm gonna tilt this up. And then I'm gonna come in with these bolts here. I'm just gonna snug these up. And then later when I mount this on the, on the lathe there, I'll, I'll put an indicator on there and make sure this is all running nice and true. And I'm just gonna snug these up, not super tight, you know, tight, but not monster tight. All right, now on these screws right here, I'm just gonna put a little touch of uh, white lithium grease there on each of these screws. Not a, not a ton, but just a little bit. I'm just gonna brush a little bit in here. All right, now I'll start putting these jaws in. And just give these a good run in and out. All right, pretty good. Now I'm gonna stick this back up on the lathe there and see how it is. All right, I just put this chuck up on the lathe and uh, this thing's looking pretty snazzy now compared to the rest of the lathe, looking all shiny and sweet there. So um, I just uh, put an indicator on it here and uh, let me see, let me bring you in on that. And looks like uh, I'm getting about a thousandths uh, run out here on this. So if I, if I bring this around. Yeah, getting just about a thousand on here. So, not too bad. Not too bad, about a thousand thrown out on that, so 
I'm happy with that. I could probably uh, take that back plate off there and uh, check those surfaces and make sure everything's seating up uh, real nice there. But uh, uh, thousands run out. Uh, it's not too bad on that. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with how this chuck turned out. Uh, I think that was pretty cool going through the process there with the evapor rust and uh, uh, showing you guys how I like to remove rust on things here and uh, working on the old uh, buck chuck there and bringing it back to life, getting off some of that uh, rust and putting it back in action. So, uh, yeah, if you like uh, this video, uh, maybe give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and... Uh, if you like my channel here, uh, please subscribe. I got uh, lots more videos coming out, lots more content, and uh, I hope you guys are doing great, and I'll see you soon.